Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and I've already found a typo error here. Uh, with mere days left, well, considering it's two days left, I wouldn't call it mere day. I call it more like mere hours left instead of days. But hey, I, I, you know, I, I'm being nitpicky here. Welcome back to another monthly card review. I know the last video I said I don't think there's going to be one. Turns out apparently I'm mistaken, and we are getting one this for this month. And well, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't really excite me. It's not a very exciting card. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Training Grounds, a 4-mana neutral support. Ongoing, when you summon a creature, give it plus 1, plus 1. If it shares the same, if it shares a type with the top creature in your deck. Now, I'm going to assume that type means... Oh, actually, what would that mean? I don't know if it is going to mean like the same color. So say... You play a strength card and it looks for a strength, or you play a Dwemer and it looks for a Dwemer. Obviously, the first one would make this card a bit better, and the latter option would make this actually worse. It, it encourages, uh, I guess, faction play, which I, I don't know if it... It might be a combination of both, which would be interesting. So, oh my, I didn't really actually think of that. Maybe this is a little more exciting than I thought. Uh, well, let's read down here. It's a neutral support with an ongoing... F yes, we've seen that one. Focusing on what type of creatures you're... It is so oh, tribal deck. Okay. So, that answers my question. Uh, certain decks, this is going to be powerful. And orcs and, dwar orcs and dwarven are going to be the most powerful, in my opinion. Because, well, we have a lot of Dwarven cards. We have a lot of Orcs. You tend to play... Those are the two that tend to... You gather everybody up together in the same faction. And try to overwhelm your opponent. Uh, let's see here. Um, reflective auto Automaton would also be really good with this. Because you're... Uh, as long as... Well, as long as you have a creature in your deck. You are guaranteed to get it. Because it shares creature types with everything. Uh, what else would be really good with this? I think that's really about it. I know they say factotums. I would disagree with that. Because there, there just aren't enough factotums in the game to really justify putting them all together into a deck. There's not certainly not enough really... Well, they're, they're all good when you get the effects going. There's just not enough good ones... That that you could play and have a choose one effect on it. Um, yeah, I'd say. Hmm. So imperial reinforcements. I'm pretty sure that would count as summoning. Oh, that could be good too. It yeah. So this one could also this card could also go really well with uh, other cards that summon tokens, such as imperial reinforcements. Um. What's the other one? Uh. The Imperial City. I know I'm just naming Imperial cards, but they're the only ones I could think of off the top of my head. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Another deck I could sort of see this working out in is Spriggans, where you have Spriggans and some a other animal creatures, such as wolves, uh, reptile creatures, etc., etc. I, I could see this possibly working out in that. Argonians are also one that you tend to you play a bunch of them together. It's not as much, it's not as well as orcs or Dwemer are, but you you do tend to try to put all the ramp gain you can into a single deck and other support cards like Red Brahmin. Um, wow, I back. Oh yeah, Fighters Guild recruit, Thieves Guild recruit. That those cards. You you tend to throw them into his deck, so I think this would get some benefit off of that. Um, aside from that, I don't think there would be anything else. I, I I really don't think it would, you know, benefit anything else. Just really tribal-based decks, which begs the question, could we maybe see a more of a tribal theme meta coming in, to, in, our, in the, well, not near, but far away future? I mean, if we do have, say... The Oblivion Crisis, which is, it's, a, don't listen to me, I, 
well, uh, don't take it. The don't take this as yes, it's coming. But I believe it's going to be a expansion theme. Probably the next one, if not maybe the one after that. I mean, expansion lists have played out exactly how I predicted it to be. We were going to go from a place in Morrowind to the Shivering Isles, which is which takes us out into the realm of Oblivion. And, well, we, we did that. And by realm of Oblivion, I mean the game Oblivion, not the planes of Oblivion, even though they... Technically, you could take that as the same way. But anyways, we're def- I, I, I can guarantee we're getting an Oblivion-themed expansion coming up next. Uh, but to kind of sum this all up, bring this back into one point, um, I don't think this is going to be that worth it. I mean, it follows, some, it follows a very similar suit to, uh, let's see, the Ring of Lordship, which we recently got, where it benefit, it gives a, it benefit for creatures that are the same type, as well as Forsworn Champion, where I believe those Forsworn Tra- Champion allows your cards to cost one less. Uh, Ring of Lordship does the same thing, except it gives two health and it's on a creature. And uh, Training Grounds now gives your creatures extra stats. So I think if we maybe get a couple, a few more cards that benefit creature types. We could probably see a more see them more more played in other decks like orcs and Dwemer, and maybe if I don't I, I just I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of on the fence because well, honestly, in a deck, especially decks that have willpower, you're just going to run divine fervor over this because. Yeah, sure, it, Divine Fervor has the weakness of being an aura effect, and this is, it targets the creature, and once this card's removed, it's, the creatures still on the field still have the the stat buffs, but Divine Fervor just does it for everyone. And this only does it for a couple of creatures. I don't know, we'd have to see. This is definitely a deck, this is definitely a card that is required to be in a deck that is tailored to fit the needs of this card. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be that good. It's gonna see some play. I just don't think it's going to be that great. So, thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video or any of my other videos to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to bring any forth any more Legends videos this month, but this dropped, so kind of felt like I felt compelled to at least bring news of this and my opinions of it. I don't think it's going to be that great of a card. Oh, by the way, as it as was mentioned, you'll get one copy at rank 9, two at rank 5, three copies at rank 1 in Legend, and you'll get a full premium set if you're in the top 1,000. So, yeah, I guess that's really all the news I have to share about Training Grounds. So, until next time, take it easy.